I often get asked what is the best keyword research tool. And after searching far and wide, I could not find a comparable keyword and competitive research tool to Ahrefs. So in today's video, I'll be doing a walkthrough of Ahrefs and I'll be showing you how to find lucrative keywords and do competitive research using Ahrefs. So let's go ahead and get started. The main reasons why I like Ahrefs is because it's easy to use but they also have the highest accuracy when it comes to keyword metrics, traffic metrics, and overall data. What I don't necessarily like about Ahrefs is its pricing. The light plan starts at $99 per month USD. You can go all the way up to the standard, advanced, and enterprise, which is $1,000 per month. Now, for the most part, if you're running a couple of websites, the $99 plan should be more than enough, but I know sometimes it's going to be out of reach for some small business owners but honestly if you have a business and you're making some income i highly recommend that you invest this amount of money into this keyword tool because it's never wasted and you can definitely use that data to find keywords that will be um, monetizable for your blog or your online website aside from pricing there's not really anything else that i don't like about ahrefs so if you wanted to do keyword research using this tool there's a couple of ways in which you can go about doing so the first method is to paste your competitor urls and then do a keyword research or a competitive research of that url for example let's say i wanted to rank for the keywords best ai tools i would search that up on google uh, and i'm going to go through the serp or the search engine results and we choose a competitor that is related or that's ranking high for that keyword and i'm going to paste that into ahrefs and we're going to take a look to see how they're doing so this website is growing pretty quickly they have about 150,000 traffic um 28,000 keywords and they have 2.1k backlinks so this is the snapshot of that website we have the backlink profile so this tells us how authoritative that website is they have a dr of 29 and a ur of 16 they got 2.1k backlinks 246 referring domains, 28,000 keywords that they're ranking for, and 150,000 um, search traffic each month. So that's really, really good. This is a very good website. So we're going to click on the keyword so we can get a better insight as to what they're ranking for. Without doing any filtering, we can see their top keywords. So the top keywords are Home Workify, which I guess is a tool, um, Deep Swap, Chat Sonic and some other keywords that are a little bit questionable there. So, so the main keyword in which they're ranking for is Home Workify. So let's go ahead and click on this and get some more information on it. So this seems to be a pretty new tool because as you can see here, the keyword difficulty is zero. So that means that this is a very, very new keyword. And this is a keyword in which you can write about and start ranking for and possibly start making money from either your affiliates or from ads if um, that's how you're monetizing your website. So the keyword difficulty is zero, as I mentioned. The volume is 76,000 per month. The traffic potential is about 34,000. The global volume is about 194,000. And if we scroll down, we can get some keyword ideas here. And these are great um, topics for you to include within your article so that you can rank for these um, variations of that main keyword. So within your blog post, you can include these questions and you can include these keywords. And if we scroll down, we'll be able to see the SERP overview, which will show us what the first page of Google looks like for this keyword. So this is useful because you can take a look at the first page results to see if you have the ability to go against any one of these websites and take their positions on the first page. For example, this website has a DR of 36 and it doesn't have any backlinks pointing back to that blog post. So again, what you could do is you could probably outrank that um, blog post by creating an article and building backlinks to it. And here's another URL that's ranking on the first page of Google that has a DR of 34 and no backlinks pointing to it. And they're getting about 3000 traffic um, each month from this keyword. So by doing competitor research, you're able to find keywords that your competitors are ranking for. And then you can do a deep dive into those keywords and see if it's possible for you to rank for. So what I would focus on would be the keyword difficulty metrics. You want to find keywords between zero to 10 because those are going to be very easy for you to rank for. The higher the number, the harder the keywords are. And you also want to make sure that that keyword has search volume. And it is nice if you're getting traffic from different places in the world, but the United States is the most important when it comes to traffic because that's going to be the most um, lucrative traffic. And once that keyword checks those boxes, then you can do a competitive research on the first page of Google and see if there's space for you. If there's um, blog posts or articles that are ranking that don't have high DR or haven't built um, any backlinks to their websites, 
then that may be a place where you can write an article and outrank those competitors. The next method that you can use to find lucrative keywords is by entering that keyword into the keyword explorer. So again, let's stick to the example of trying to rank for the keyword of AI tools. So first I can search that up and I will get an overview of that keyword. So first we get the keyword difficulty. So it's 40 right now, which seems pretty hard for us to rank for. The volume is about 4.4K per month. The global volume is 26,000. And below that, we have some keyword ideas. So again, these are great because maybe we can't rank for AI tools, but we can possibly mark for AI marketing tools, um, best AI tools or any variation of that keyword. And if we scroll down, we'll be able to see the SERP overview for that keyword. So if we search this up on Google, this is going to be what the first page will look like. And for this keyword, we can see here that the DRs are very high. So if you have a very high DR website, then maybe you can um, rank for this keyword, but it would be very difficult to do so. So what I recommend doing is heading over to matching terms, and this is where you'll be able to get variations of that keyword in which you can go after. And as you can see here, you have some much easier keyword um, that you can go after. So you can go after free AI tools. This has a KD of 14. And if we scroll down, we'll see some other um, suggestions for keywords. AI SEO tools is 13. AI recruitment tools is 12 and so on. And if you want to, you can quickly filter down those keywords by using the filtering um, tags at the top here. So for example, if I wanted to filter by KD, I can make my max KD or my max um, keyword difficulty to 10. I can show results there. So I'm going to only have keywords that are between zero and 10. As you can see here, now we get some really, really lucrative keywords that we can go after. So now we have about 91 keywords. The KD is between zero and 10. So it's very low, should be easy for us to rank for. And the search volume would be a little bit lower because of course, if it's easy to rank for, um, sometimes you won't get that high search volume. But these keywords are much easier to go after. So for example, AI sales tools seems to be decent. Um, it has about 80 volume, the traffic potential is 30. Um, the global volume is about 250. So let's scroll down here and take a look at the SERP overview to see if it makes sense. We see that there's a couple of websites that have a low DR, like number two, which has a DR of three. But other than that, it does seem a little bit um, competitive. So, so maybe this wouldn't be the best keyword to go after because it's a lower search volume keyword, but they're still um, pretty competitive in terms of the SERP overview. But that's an example of how you can do keyword research. You can either go through the site explorer and then research the keywords in which they're ranking for and you can use your filtering. So filter down your KD to zero to 10. So you're only looking for um, keywords that are much easier to rank for. And once you find a lucrative keyword, you can click on that keyword to get more information to see if this is worthwhile for you to go after. The second method is entering that keyword into the keyword explorer directly, searching that up, heading over to matching terms and then filtering down by either lowest DR, by the volume, by the word count, by the traffic potential, or by the keyword difficulty metric. Those are my favorite methods to use to find lucrative keywords using Ahrefs. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other keyword research tool that you're using that you like a lot that you believe is better than Ahrefs. I would love to take a look at it and do a comparison to Ahrefs to kind of find what is the best overall keyword research, especially when it comes to pricing. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.